Like why are they listening? Like why are they No. Oh, thank you. Of course. Of course. This is the same person who says she does not have a pretty face for the camera. And thank you. Cray cray. So we're gonna try out. Appreciate you, my lover. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to have one of my face. Why is it crisscross, my lady? Uh -uh. That's the thing. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> At least it seems like it's going to be picking up. Oh, the thumb is not bent. Mm. Now, how do we do that? Oh my god. The urge for the thumb to bend. Oh, no ways. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Guys, let's do this next year. Thanks. No attempt to, no attempt. Mm? <laughs> okay guys, how are you? Good looks. Hey, Good of the day. <laughs> scripture. Scripture, scripture. Isaiah 43. Yeah. <laughs> I see Sunday school. <laughs> Isaiah 43. <laughs> Verse 1. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob. He who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. I don't think this needs me to say anything more. You are mine. You are mine. You are mine. Fear not. Fear not. Yes, that's no floods shall overcome you, no fire shall burn you, because you have been called by his name. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory this morning. We give you honor. We give you worship. We give you praise. You are worthy to be praised. We thank you that you have claimed us. We thank you that... Look who came out to play today. Hi, guys. I hope this doesn't upset you. Yep. These are indeed in my office park. I guess Americans are not so wrong after all. Sipila Nazo guys is lying and it's true. Americans, you were right all along. Yeah. I just um, came here to the shed. I just got to the shed right now. And because there's low shedding, so the generators are on, this company's generators are literally so close to the shed that i don't know how this is going to affect my video because i will sit somewhere here by the birds <laughs> i will sit somewhere here i don't know and if i'm outside because there's another place um i think i'm just gonna walk over there then that will just automatically work out to be more louder because there's it's outside but at the same time it's a bit further than the shed and the company so i don't know let me go check it out and then yeah see you how are you 
came out to play today. How are you? Apparently you, you old old. Like you ancient. You wanna go back into your shell now? Dude, you look weird. Everything about you looks weird. Mm. Mm, no hate, but um, I'm a bit grossed out. Get the shell. Don't go back. I'm not gonna hurt you. Bye bye. I'm sure you guys can see why I love being outside my office park and just being out in nature. Like I just, I'm just walking and I just come across a tortoise. I'm just walking and I'm seeing spring box. Where I live is very busy. There's taxis hooting all the time. People screaming. Random men crying in the middle of the night. Don't know why. When I come here, I just come to be one with nature and so freeing. And this whole different side of my office park is so away from everything. The busyness. Look guys. Hearts. So this is like a common area for recreation, I suppose. So I'm just gonna try and find a spot to sit on so that I can shoot. There's a person here. Awkward. I'm about to shoot a shared talk. With shared talks, me, I literally listen to the spirit. If the spirit wants to drop something in my heart, I speak it because I also don't want to create content for the sake of creating content and then i now speak things from i heard from people okay granted i listen to podcasts i read books and the bible and so i'm influenced by so many things but um i will not just come now and regurgitate or copy and paste what i learned i have it has to be inspired by the spirit so if there's nothing that's being dropped in my spirit there will not be a shared talk because i also do not want to with the internet right this is just my personal opinion um with especially with christian content creation i'm very careful not to be hung up in a habit not a habit in a program i guess if i can call it that i don't want to produce reels every wednesday about christ or preaching or whatever the case might be i don't want to have shared talks every saturday because I have shared talks my consistency unfortunately is not like that uh, my consistency has to be in line with with god with the internet and just the accessibility and where you can get um your views heard and everything it's easy to fall into the trap of just wanting to teach and yet your teachings are not coming from above and i'm very careful with putting out with with what i put out there because i don't want anything to be traced back to me Do you, i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense like i don't want umpo to ever be the main thing behind belief you know i want you to always hear christ when i speak i want you to hear it as it comes from the spirit and if i'm sharing a a, a lived experience i want you to know that i'm not gloating if it's something good and if it's something bad i want you to know that it's not from it's not for pity party i'm not asking for sympathy i'm sharing it because I understand what it is being part of a universal church of Christ. I am not a, a, a church goer. I am not a church girl. I am part of the body of Christ and I understand that that has no denominations, that has no congregations, that has, you know, all these things that separate us. So I hope all of this makes sense. Let me shoot my shot <laughs> i'm lying something you guys can't do <laughs> i'm lying guys it really seems like i'm really like trying to get hit on me <laughs> well i cannot say i'm not but just know your story know your story don't take chances and over and above that i love umpo more than i love relationships i love umpo uh, more than i love marriage life so i will not sacrifice my peace that the lord has given me after so long and my joy just so i can have a man so yes i love love i love relationships and i am very hopeful and i know that the lord is going to bless me with a good husband and just a beautiful um family <laughs> we'll come back to this video when that happens okay i'm very bold i'm very bold 
yeah but i'm not um i'm not gonna do that on my own speaking of that guys i've been watching harry and megan on netflix and please i am in love like my mom has always followed the royal family whatever i've always known them obviously who doesn't but i've never paid attention that much and so when i saw that documentary on netflix yesterday because i only started yesterday and i've finished everything that's out already because the next one is coming out next thursday which is the 14th of december i think so i have two things i'm looking forward to it's the 11th of december which is the chosen season three that's going to be a live stream and then um it's going to be the 14th of december if i'm not mistaken yeah thursday um harry and 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 megan and i'm learning so much things guys from there i think i will make a separate video about what i've picked up and what i've learned from them and i don't know where i'm gonna sit if the angle is funny when you watch the shirt talk eventually just know that i tried okay i really tried